Welcome everybody, we're going to do the national anthem. Welcome everybody, my name is Matt Livingston. I'd like to welcome you to the 2023 summer graduation. Congratulations graduates, we're here to celebrate you and your journey and the hard work that you put in uh, to be with us today and so that we could celebrate you. A um, couple of logistics, uh, we do have a professional uh, photographer with us and a professional videographer, so we're videotaping the ceremony and we're, we're gonna take lots of great pictures and we will make sure that all families get copies of everything. So don't worry about that, just enjoy the show and um, thank you for joining us to celebrate with you and your families. I'd like to bring up uh, my colleague, uh, Dr. Meisner, for some additional um, message to you. Good evening everyone and we just wanted to welcome you on behalf of the entire district and recognize that this is the culmination of your K-12 experience and wanted you to think about and thank all of the teachers from preschool maybe through your high school experience who helped you get this, get through this and especially to congratulate this is your moment this is this is your moment to celebrate and shine and and we're here to celebrate you and excited to hear about your next steps and we really congratulate you for for just continuing um, and, and making it to this point where you're taking your first step at, at adulthood and, and accepting that high school diploma. So on behalf of all of us, we really, really wish you a happy evening and congratulations. I don't have my program in front of me to know who's coming next, so Matt, <laughs> apologize. It's okay, no, it's not Kelly, it is Mark. <laughs> um, of course, I forgot to mention one thing. After the graduation ceremony, you can take pictures as a family out here, and Ava, our photographer, will take pictures of you with your graduate as a family, and they'll be real nice professional pictures, and we'll make sure you get copies of those. All right, Mr. Stewart, welcome. Good afternoon, friends and family. Fellas, this is the, you don't have to look at this way. You don't have to share your graduation with a whole bunch of other folks that you don't know and you don't care about. You, it's the most intimate graduation and one of my favorites in all year because it can center on you. You don't have to worry about parking. You don't have to worry about it. Oh, please. And what's really great is you learned a lesson and you've exhibited that uh, knowledge that was on no syllabus, that was on no teacher's schedule. You learned how to keep it on, keep going. When things got a little bit uh, rough, things got in your way, you kept on moving. And that's a lesson long after all the algebra grades and all the sociology, all those classes are over. And long, long past the time you'll maybe use any of them, this is the lesson that'll stick with you. You see it through. You get the job done, and you move on. And that is probably the most important lesson you could have learned in K through 12. And to be quite frank, it's one of the best lessons you can learn as an adult. 
anywhere you go and whatever you do. Trust me. If I hadn't stuck around, I'd be stuck back in a little podunk town in Oklahoma, probably selling shoes, which was no bad, bad deal, but it's not what I had to have and had to have fun with and to enjoy myself. And that's what you're going to do. I know you are. I want to thank the families, teachers, who've made it possible that these young men sought a crib because they don't do it without the family, without the brothers and sisters, the parents, aunts, uncles, grandparents, I'm not sure. Uh, I know that I wouldn't have gotten through school if my grandparents helped raise me. And it's a very important thing to remember who you're from, where you're from, and remember the importance of family. I want to thank each and every one of you for coming down to celebrate this graduation. To me, fellas, you done good. Now remember one other thing, have some fun along the way. If you can't smile, the tough times won't be, it will be tougher, and the good times just won't be as sweet. So smile as you go and enjoy yourself while you're working your tail off. Thank you. There we go, that's who I am. <laughs> Good evening and congratulations. Uh, we are so excited to be here to celebrate with you. My name is John Holman, superintendent here in the Lake Washington School District. Uh, we started summer graduation eight years ago, nine years ago, because we felt there was a gap in the students that we were celebrating. And for us, every student that graduates in Lake Washington School District is a celebration for us because we come to work every day so that students can have what they need to graduate because graduation is that important. And so with that, please join me in congratulating our graduates of the class of 2023. And so today we are here to celebrate the accomplishments of these young people. We're here to recognize significance, a special point in time for our students where the community comes together to lift them up and launch, launch them into their life's journey. The act of graduation is symbolic of an individual accomplishment, but for each individual, there's a series of people along the way that made this accomplishment possible. So while we are recognizing our young people, today is also about the teachers, the staff, the administrators, the organizations, the families, the people that have committed to the success of these students. To our graduates, I am so proud of what you've accomplished. No one here understands what growing up and succeeding has been like for young people these last few years. Hard, yes, but significance never comes easy. You've learned one of the most valuable lessons in life. Through struggle grows grit, determination, and the ability to finish. You've also experienced the value of success. In life, we are all striving for something, and there will always be setbacks. Having success to look back on will help you navigate life journeys. Finally, never forget those around you, those that helped you along the way, cared for you, and are vested in your success throughout your life. 2023 graduates, tonight we honor you for this significant milestone. Congratulations. Okay, at this time we will bring up our building administrators who will introduce um, the graduates from their school and award the diplomas. First is Ms. Kelly Clapp, principal of Juanita High School. Hi, thank you all for being here. It is my honor and privilege to speak about Levi Dupree Breckenridge Jr. tonight. Levi came to Juanita High School as a ninth grader, and um, he spent his last year enrolled in some of our futures classes. And, and I think it would not be a stretch to say that high school was a challenge for Levi. Um, he had some struggles throughout school a little bit before he came to us. There were some crises that occurred with family. Uh, there was COVID, as well as some other really significant barriers that he faced 
um, that kind of got in his way as he tried to earn his credits towards graduation. So that meant it came down to the wire this year, his senior year, and he had some significant things that he needed to do to take care of business to walk across that stage in June. He didn't quite make it. But this is what I want to say about Levi, and we should all be very proud of him, is that he made a decision. He made a decision to go to school this summer when all of his friends might have been working or hanging out and doing other things, and finish up and taking care of business. And I think that takes courage. So for that, you should be very proud, Levi. Um, so that, that decision that you made um, led you to being here tonight in front of your family and all of your, um, and some of our um, district folks here and earning your diploma. That says something about your character. And speaking of character, his counselor, Ms. Stepha Chow, said this about Levi. Levi has always been kind and respectful. He cares for his family and friends very much. And he has had experiences that he will be able to share and contribute to those around him as he moves into adulthood. And also, just so you know, Levi plans to become a barber and he wants to own his own shop one day. So stay in touch with him. He'll be able to hook you up here. Um, we wish you the best of luck in your future, Levi. And on behalf of the Juanita and future staff, Congratulations, and we are very proud of you. He told me he didn't want to. <laughs> Congratulations. There we go. Apologize for the technology here. And now, uh, James Harris, the Associate Principal of Redmond High School. Thank you all so much for coming. We've got four graduates tonight, which is spectacular. Um, I'm going to start with Kevin. Kevin Baserto. We are so happy to celebrate Kevin's achievement tonight. One of the things that stands out most about Kevin is his personality and ability to elevate others around him. Both Ms. Herring, his counselor, and Mr. Hurton, his English teacher, um, could not get through a sentence without talking about how warm, genuine, and peaceful uh, you are and the presence that you brought to their classroom and our community. He's creative and insightful, took ownership in his learning, applied feedback to get better, and elevated his teachers, his classmates, and again, our school as a whole. Kevin's creativity, pride in his work, and genuine kindness will serve him well as he begins the next phase of his life and enters the workforce. Congratulations, Kevin. by my teachers in every grade level, helping me, uh, strengthening my core values to get here right now. And uh, it also wouldn't be possible without the help of my mom, who always made sure <laughs> I, was, uh, I was on track 
to, to at least graduate by this summer. And uh, I love her for that. And I hope I can make her proud. Next, we have Jonathan Cornell. We're so glad to uh, meet Jonathan when he enrolled at RHS in the fall of his senior year. RHS was the third high school Jonathan attended. Navigating multiple schools, systems, and requirements, all while building relationships with teachers and peers is no small feat. Jonathan did this with diligence, determination, creativity and problem solving, and always with a smile and positive attitude. We're so proud of Jonathan and wish him all the best in his next steps. Congratulations, Jonathan. I want to thank everyone here for showing up today, helping ever like being here to show your support for our graduates here. I also want to thank my parents a lot for pushing me through, helping me get through my school. It was really hard getting through multiple schools, like having no people to talk with, but eventually I would make friends with people. I want to thank everyone again. Thank you. Next, we have Connor Murray. Connor has defined resilience, facing and overcoming challenges, and all while never giving up on himself. His counselor, Ms. Dombrowski, who is so proud of him, says that Connor has become an absolute legend in summer school uh, for finishing what may be a record number of classes on his terms. Throughout his time at Redmond High School, Connor never lost sight of his long-term goals or his respectful personality. Connor is incredibly proud and should be of coming to the end of this chapter and beginning the new chapter of adulthood, where he plans to join the Army and eventually have a career in law enforcement. Congratulations, Connor. It has been one bumpy road and a half. But I would not be here without my dad and Mr. Zimbrowski for assisting me in this long road. Thank you. And finally, Hazem Kadora. Seeing Hazem and his family tonight is truly wonderful. Every student manages different challenges to accomplish their goals, and Hazem's accomplishment tonight is genuinely inspiring. Over the course of his academic career in the United States, he has to learn a new language, a new school system, a new culture, a new way of life, all of those things. One of the things that has been truly remarkable, especially to me, is just how much he has matured and grown during his junior and senior year. He's gathered strength, focus, motivation, and purpose from his tremendously supportive family, who he cares for deeply. Hazem is looking forward to working after graduation in college in a few years. Congratulations, Hazem. I would like to thank my parents, my brother, my sister, Ms. Zambrowski, my summer school teachers, and I would also like to thank Ms. D, uh, Ms. Diane, is her full last name, and Mrs. Fukushima. I would like to thank Mr. Harris, too, for guiding me and like, getting me through high school. 
And that's it. Thank you. Levi, I just wanted to give you one more chance if you wanted to come say something. Short message. You good? No worries, Levi. I'm not sure I would have been able to at your age myself, but my name is Dale Cody. I'm Associate Superintendent here in Lake Washington School District. And um, I just really want to tell you that, that you inspire me. You made a decision that altered the trajectory of your life. I don't think that you quite know that. Your decision to persevere, your decision, to, your, your, your decision and determination to overcome setbacks and get to this place in your life is tremendous. Um, and so we're all very proud of you. Um, again, I just want to uh, thank you for, for how hard you've worked. And again, your, your life has been changed as a result and appreciate all that you've done. Uh, at this point, I'd like you to all stand. Um, so what we're going to do here in a second is probably your final act as a high school student. And then I'm going to hand you these um, name tags and roses, um, which you can keep or hand to a family member, up to you. Uh, and then you get to walk down the aisle for the last time. So as a final act, as a high school student, and as a, uh, as signifying as a graduate in Lake Washington School District, you're going to take your tassel from your right and turn it to your left. A tradition here. And congratulations on graduating high school in Lake Washington School District. Thank you everyone for coming. Remember you can take family pictures out in the lobby. Please enjoy the snacks and drinks in the back. And congratulations graduates.